guys, Gav from Mullet Trap Garage. Uh, this is just a quickie one, um, and it'll probably be even quicker with me talking because I just spent the last bloody 10 minutes yakking away and this thing wasn't even recording. So uh, anyway, just a real quick one today. I didn't even get much done. Um, I was I was pretty much wrecked today. Um, you know, a bit of, bit of pain, sort of management issues. Uh, my daughter was sick today and we were, we were just having a, we were having a Sunday where we just didn't feel like doing anything. So. I basically haven't done anything all day, and yeah, I feel guilty about it, feel bad about it, but that's why I'm down here now real quick before dinner, uh, having a go at the cow. It goes on the front of the Dodge. So, I just, real quickly what I've gone and done, uh, is I've had to sand the top of this, and I'll just bring it down a touch so you can get you to see it when I'm yakking. So I've sanded the top of it just, just with the regular sander, okay? Um, because it was really, really coarse and really rough. Um, this side, uh, I, you know, like I've given it a scrub and I've just given it a quick once over, but you can, you can just feel as you, you pull your hand across, it's like sandpaper. And then on this side, it, it, it's much smoother. I mean, you can still feel, you can still feel these, these divots and, and whatnot. Um, but uh, it 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 will it will be better once we get some primer on it, and it'll look a little a little nicer. Uh, I'm I don't care if it, it when the primer's on it, the paint's on it. Um, you, you kind of see it because I kind of want that that vintage look, that that original look about it. Um, but I guess we'll we'll see once we clean it all up and we get it done. There's a little bit of repairs to do on it. We've got some. Um, Got some little pinholes, a couple of pinholes there, and a few little pinholes around the place. Um, I've also got to replace these uh, these old clinch nuts. So there's there's nothing left of them, really. Um, if I can if I can show you underneath. This is probably going to be hard. Okay, so you can see that 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 nut just underneath my shoulder. You see, there's nothing there. So that's pretty much how they are. So they're just they're so gutted, they're so rotted out. So we'll we'll be taking those out. Um, we'll be taking this out. This is the the, the hood um, where the hood hinge, the end of the hood hinge pin goes into. So I've got to take that out too. That's that's gutted that's rotted if you can see okay it's just it's just gutted so what i'll do is i've got um these brandy nuts these are a uh, three eighth three eight by fourteen by three three quarters i think off the top of my head so just like that so what i'll do is i'll just get this nut and we'll just We'll just weld it on the underside like that. So we'll just weld it under there like so. And then we'll just be able to fit the bolt in when we put the grill in. And uh, I'm not too fast, it won't have the dodge markings on it. And if people see it, you know, big deal, so what? Um, I mean, you guys, you guys, if you've been subscribed, and uh, and watching me and following me, you'll you'll see that um, this um, this old girl's pretty rough, and we've got a long way to go. There's a lot of work to get done on it. Um, it started pretty rough, and uh, at the moment, it's just it's just a matter of getting it back on the road. And oh, as you can see, I mean, there's how crusty it is. Okay, all right. So that's just bits of. Bits of rust coming off. That we're gonna just get a little old screwdriver and whatnot into, and you can see it's thin because look what I just did. Bugger. Yep, I've had me tetan the shot, so don't worry about it. It's no biggie. So now I'm just gonna have a quick, um, quick crack at this side here with the with the sander. Smooth it out. Um, and then I'm going to do it with the, the Y wheel here on my on my drill, okay. 
just a brass wire wheel like that. Clean it up. Hit it with some uh, some brake cleaner. Just some simple brake cleaner like that. Just give, just give it a quick clean up on top. And then what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll just prime it. I'll just hit it with the primer over the top. I'll put that um, Eastwood uh, rust encapsulator over the top of that and then we'll, we'll head upstairs for dinner. Um, then what we can do when we need to uh, when we need to weld it, weld these nuts in tomorrow, or whenever we get a chance to do these nuts, I can just hook my hook my clamp onto that, and clean it off, and I can I can hook hook it onto that, um, and there won't be a big issue that, that the heat goes into this because we still have to clean clean under here anyway, and clean it clean across the top here. So I don't know. We'll see how we go in the next couple of minutes. All right, guys. I'm going to hook in and I'm going to get this sanded. All right, cheers. dinner and shower and shave and get ready for work tomorrow we've got a uh, uh, 3 a.m. wake up so anyway here we are so it's taking longer than expected of course because it's it's just crusty rusty stuff okay top sides done we've had a quick crack at the uh, the inside edge you can see the color difference Okay, this this edge here, and the inside. If we can get get the light. Here we go. Okay, the inside's on both sides here. Okay, that's about as much as we're going to be able to get done tonight. Uh, we obviously got to get the inside done tomorrow. Get these captured nuts out. Get these um, attachment for the hood off. Fill some of the little holes. And then we're done. That'll be primed, ready for paint. That's one less thing to do. All right, guys, I've got to go. Um, you know, <laughs> time for a shower. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, be good, keep safe, and uh, get out and work on your gear. Thanks, guys. Catch up with you later.